it's a commitment for this afternoon. That's pretty much all I know. Two and a half miles in, not a soul to be seen. So quiet, apart from the odd bird, grouse or something. Check out this view. Amazing. Got the pleasure of seeing the sunrise over the hills as well. Got here just before sunrise. Look at that. And we're heading up here somewhere to Loch Nagar. See you later. Hard going. Almost four miles in. Took a bit of a dodgy detour down here, following someone's uh, footsteps. Turned out to be the wrong way to go, but I've seen a guy up ahead of me, so hopefully on track now. <sighs> Don't know how long to the top, maybe a mile or so. Whew, still beautiful though. Check out this view. Car park's down there somewhere. See you at the top. So, finally made it to Loch Nagar after, I don't know, a year and a half of poor planning basically. There's the loch or quarry or whatever it's called. I think I'm going to head over there next and then head back down. Just nobody around. Can't see that guy that was ahead of me, but apart from that, not a soul in sight, just the odd grouse. Completely quiet. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's pretty good climbing in winter when the weather's like this. Not much clouds around. A little bit on the horizon, but no wind, so not expecting it to come in. The forecast was good, so hopefully we'll be heading back down in about half an hour, an hour. Another Munro, this is Kak Karn Bieg. Hopefully, I said that right. Amazing view. Lock uh, down there, I think that's Sandy Lock. Looking at the map. Or, uh, yeah, I'd say that's Sandy Lock. Or possibly Loch Nan Huen. Not 100% sure, I'd have to get the compass out to check. Amazing views up here. Just met my the guy that was ahead of me. 
gave me a few directions, which is good. So I'm gonna have my buttery, we drink, and then head back. Amazing. Two Monroes, maybe, maybe catch another one, we'll see. quiet. Great views all the way around, back to home, across the Glen Shee, everywhere. Just clear as anything except for this cloud that will be coming in, might be a bit of snow. So hopefully I'll get ahead of that. Cheery bye. Just heading back down along the stream or falls or whatever they call it. So it's been a great day. Brilliant, weather's great. I'm just keeping ahead of these clouds, so that's good. Virtually, well, basically no wind. Calm as anything. Just completely silent. Apart from those people over there. Loch Nagar over that way and the actual quarry or lock is over the back of the hill there. That's where I was earlier. That gorge down there, that's where the lock is, Loch Me. So I head straight down over the hill and then along the lock back to the car. Great day. Definitely recommend it. And haven't had my jacket on. Apart from right at the start, I took it straight off. It's too hot. Haven't had my jacket on. Gloves and hat have been coming on and off because I've been sweaty. So it's like, I don't know, it must be about zero degrees, maybe something like that. A bit below freezing when I started. Awesome. A bit too hard for skiing though. Gotta be uh, light on your feet coming down here so you don't go plunging into the snow. Right, better go. Great sound that. Snow crunching under your feet. Brilliant. <sighs> Piling down the hill. Hard going though. Try and get a decent time. My, the boys are way down there somewhere. I don't think I'm gonna catch them up. Right. Better crack on. Whew. So, fair bit way down towards Loch Mech. Great fun bombing, bombing down the snow. Just straight down, following the well trodden path that people over the last few days and weeks have been carving out, which is, if it wasn't that, I'd have definitely got lost on the way up. 
But, uh, you know, if I was Thor Holt, which I'm not, I'd probably have a really good business metaphor for traveling the well-trodden path. So maybe what I'll do is, I'll maybe post this video, give Thor a shout out, and ask him to, to post something in lieu of me doing something because I'm so out of breath, I can't even think. Anyway, over and out, take it easy. Actually, haven't had a little bit of time to chew on it, about bombing down the hill there and business metaphors. I guess there is one. I was coming down there, uh, every periodically I have to stop and have a look and see where I'm going. But then, once I've worked up my little path, just bombing on, head down, obviously keeping a little eye out for anything dodgy underfoot, but that's kind of like that stop-start thing, a little bit of planning, go, plan, go, plan, go, rather than just meandering along. I guess uh, businesses can be like that. You've obviously got to do a lot of planning, but I've been, been in companies like this or being exposed to companies like this, where they spend all their days planning, never get anything done. So I guess working in small companies mostly, that's pretty much what you tend to do is a bit of planning, but then go out and get after it, and then periodically stop, have a think about your plan, just the plan, just the route, whatever it might be, and then carry on. And if you have a little fall along the way, you end up in the snow, Hopefully you don't hurt yourself too bad, or at all, and uh, you get up and you carry on. And I guess uh, I guess a lot of small business enterprises will be able to associate with that. So yeah, maybe uh, also getting away from it as well, getting out in the hill, just getting away from business and life and. TV and I know I've got this phone but there's no cell service, it's great. Um, but yeah, just getting away from it, getting a bit of time on your own, a bit of thinking space, a bit of fresh air, get the blood pumping, a little bit of risk I guess. You know you could get stuck but that's what life's all about, a little bit of risk. But yeah, a little bit of planning, head down, bomb on. That's what I'm waiting to do for the rest of this trip down the side of the, the stream here, back to the car, and then head home. Sunday, maybe get a Sunday lunch on. Take it easy, ta-da, bye. so quiet at the top and then uh, just having that sound of running water, nothing else. Still not a breath of wind and it's what, middle of November? Amazing. Just got lucky. Well, I was planning. Looked at the weather forecast today and tomorrow was looking pretty good. So, decided to give it a go and it's worked out brilliantly. Great day. Don't think I'll need to do a uh, leg day in the gym tonight. I think it'll be legs up and rest. I'm gonna sleep good tonight. That's the time on the watch here. So almost eight miles in, coming up for four hours. It's not bad considering it was a couple of miles were pretty sketchy on the way up. Hard going actually on the way up. I didn't think I'd, well, I knew I'd make it, but felt like you just want to stop and have a sit down. But I just kept going. A couple of butties to keep me going though. Good old uh, Scottish hiking food. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on back to the bottom, get to the car, maybe get the balancer, get a coffee. I think I deserve it. See you at the bottom.
Around the corners, walk me. Not far now. It's amazing. Just stunning. I bet the water's cold though. This descent's taken ages. I have to keep stopping the video stuff. That's the falls where I was just at. Coming down another little set of falls here. Heads all the way down. These trees down through that forest there to Loch Mech. And then down that way, hit a left. You can see how, well, you can't see it on this video, but there's just a pure reflection of that mountain in the water. Hopefully, get a good photo of that when I get down. It's just so still. Just amazing. Got to do this, but obviously, in the winter, you've got to be reasonably fit and plan, take things with you, uh, keep an eye out for other people just in case you get in trouble or they are in trouble. But yeah, in summer, a pair of shorts, backpack, you'd be all the way. Amazing. Well, probably stop in a couple more minutes to take another video. Bye for now. Amazing, just come around the corner, like 20 meters. Noisy as anything because of the waterfall. And then you come around the corner like this and you just hear it faint in the background. Get down there a bit, it'll be completely quiet. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's a brilliant reflection in the water. It's so still. Probably we get it better down there. In fact, you can see it best here, look, because you see the sky there, that's the sky at the top of the mountain and the reflection. I've been up there before but didn't make it to the top but I have today. I think I've got two Munros. I have to check on the GPS when we go back. Pretty sure I did. Right, time crack on. <laughs> Final bit of the journey from the state house back there along Loch Mech to uh, the car park. Nice and flat. Absolutely roasting. Covered in sweat, as you can see. Probably not a great idea wearing a t shirt on top of these sorts of wicking tops, but there you go. Wasn't cold. Great day. Great day, can't wait to do it again. Maybe somewhere else, get some other Munro's, although I've got three more to get here. Might try and get that one another day. I think I can get that one and maybe another one. But, yeah, just have to wait for a break in the weather and some free time. Oh, Tell you, even if you've got uh, just what I come for, a nice walk with the family and the dog or whatever. You can go up and down Loch Mech. It's all flat. Brilliant. Take a picnic, whatever. Definitely worth a visit. And Balloter's got some uh, really nice little restaurant-y type cafe places. Get an ice cream if you're brave enough. It's nice in the summer. Uh, yeah, and the top tip, co-op opens at seven in the morning. Uh, every day I think, because today's Sunday and it was open today and uh, so it was about an hour before sunrise and um, they've got a Costa coffee machine so you can nip in there, get a coffee before you come up get some butties, hot, fresh off the shelf, not hot, it would be nice if they are hot but really good but yeah, it's nice to get a coffee before you go out the previous time I did this and I failed to get to the top because it was bad weather. 
I did it, pretty much did it completely fast until I got back to the end of this road. So, been out to grab a coffee beforehand when you're fasting for that sort of thing is definitely good. It'd be hard to do otherwise, I think. Need that little boost of energy. Or you can take a, you can take a pre-workout drink with you, cold. That's an option. But yeah, today I had some breakfast before I came out. Stopped at co-op for the butt days. Had my coffee. Oh, I and uh, had a sausage batter. Oh, they do sausage batter at the co-op. Boys literally putting them in the cabinet when I was making my coffee. They're right next to the coffee. Absolutely brilliant. Great way to start the walk. That's for sure. And I think on a so what I was doing today, trudging up through the snow, definitely needed the, the, the fuel inside me. But yeah, this route along the side here, up the hills, it's not as bad, snowy wise, so you can definitely do that fast. Anyway, last wee bit of sign off for just now, maybe do another quick vid from the car park, close it out. But yeah, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Ace, awesome day. Brilliant walk, beautiful. I mean, this is what, an hour from the house, my house. It's great. Definitely recommend it, even for a wee walk with a dog around the loch. It's great, kids all love it. Right, oh, and before I go, before I forget, if you do come, you need to change for the car park, because uh, it's four quid for a car. So make sure you've got change. Helps them keep up with the maintenance and all the rest of it. Which is important obviously. For these sorts of places to keep them beautiful. And if you come here, take all your rubbish off the hill with you. Don't leave anything behind. Right. Time to march on. Ta-da. In the home stretch now. Car park and everything's just over there by that trees. Probably another I don't know, mile maybe if that. Done ten and a half so far. Good walk. Whew. Beautiful. Look at that reflection. Amazing. Another view, look, down the loch. So you can go all the way around the edge, you can kind of, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's a path that goes along and then it goes up that hill, or at that point you can take a right and go down along the loch, cross over the end of the loch, come back round. I don't remember how far it is, but it's like, I don't know, let's call it five miles, something like that. It's a, it's a good walk. It's not too uh, past are pretty good. Well, very good actually, considering we're in the middle of nowhere in Scotland. So, yeah, there's a lot of people doing a lot of hard work making uh, all these paths, keeping them maintained. It's uh, pretty amazing, really. And it's not just here; it's everywhere. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of miles of paths that people, I think a lot of volunteers maintain. So, there you go. Maybe that. Ta da! Oh, a little bit of double time in there. Keep the speed up. Knackered. Whew. Catch my breath and go for it again. See if I can finish off with the fastest mile. Finish strong. Can't remember. 
I heard that from, but some sports person was always about finishing strong, I think uh, cycling maybe, something like that. But yeah, go out with a bang. Quite a few people out around the path of here, look, as I said. Walking their uh, dogs. There's a bunch of people behind me, there's some dogs down there having a great time swimming in the uh, in the water. Must be freezing. But I guess if you're a dog, it doesn't matter. So, it's coming up, finished Loch Meh. You can see over here, some houses and stuff. If you walk past that on the way up, that's the way up. I went this morning to Loch Nagar. And actually even just going for a walk a mile or so up there, Pretty good, you just come straight back down again. There's no through, no uh, round trip unless you go all the way up. So, <sighs> right, I think that's me caught my breath. Time to jog on. <sighs> Almost there. Maybe slightly better view of the little house, both of them out there. This is just the car park coming up here. What are we looking at? We are on 12.15 miles, five hours. Not bad considering. It'll be interesting to see what the stats are on the Garmin when I download it. Right, nearly there. Ta -da. That's us back at the visitor center. See they have a coffee machine there. Probably not the best, but need hot drink or something, and also vending machine. But really, should be coming completely stocked up. And uh, yeah, so all this information was about the pass. I was talking about that earlier about how the the mind boggles how they do it, helicopters and all sorts. And then there's this like 3D sort of map almost, I guess, of the Loch Ness. So it shows you the, where the visitor center is and the path I took all the way up and round. Right, that's me done for the day. So, like I said, I guess the most important things are, like I said earlier, don't uh, don't leave anything on the hill, apart from maybe uh, sweat, and if it's not going so well, some tears maybe and uh, don't take anything from the hill, except memories. Right, coffee time.